Hello and welcome to another tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be using the Django REST framework and creating a very simple web API and then creating a web page that then can access that API and display information on the web page. So this project is a two step process. First, we'll build the web API system and then we we'll build a simple web page to collect information from the API and display on a web page. So I have started a new project in PyCharm and I've gone ahead and made a new app uh, using the start app my API and then I've migrated and then I've created a super user and I've run the server. So everything now is set to develop further. So now I go ahead and just register this new app in the installed apps and that's of course in the settings.py of the original application. Okay, so let's head into our new app we made, My API. And first of all, we're going to build a model. So if we go into the models and then create a new model. So here we're creating a new model called Posts. And there's just two entries here. You can expand on this if you want. So just title and content. And then here I'm just returning the name of the database. Okay, so that's our simple model now in place. Okay, so now we've made a new model. We just update uh, using the make migrations command. And now I'm going to go into the the admin.py and then just register my model so I can view it from the admin panel and so now I can go off onto the web page and go to the admin area and it's not working because I need to turn on the server just run that server okay and then we go back and then whatever you've typed in earlier when you made a, a super user so here we have the new model we created. Now, annoyingly, uh, you can see it's got a double S. So always try to put a plural on. So we can change that by adding some meta into the model. So back into the models where we initially created our database, we can just add some metadata here. And we just add the plural name posts. So now when we update that page, uh, it now just goes to the the single S and not the double S. Okay, so now we have everything in place. So now we're going to install the Django REST framework. And from here, we can then develop our API. And then from there, we can then build a web page to access uh, the data, for example. So let's first install the Django REST framework. So we just need to pip install Django REST framework. And then once that's installed, head back over to the, the main app, new, new API, and in settings, uh, we just need to add it to the installed apps. So our next task is we need to tell the REST framework about our model and how it should serialize the data. So first of all, I went to my API and I created a new file here called serializers.py. Okay, so in here, the first of all, we need to import the serializers so that we can use that. And then we also need to import our model we made. So our model was called posts. So we import that in. Okay, so now what we need to do is make a new class. So I've called this post serializers and then we need to link to the hyperlink module serializer. So from here, we just add some meta and the meta we need to add is basically to tell the system about our model. So here, if you remember, our model has two fields, um, title and content, and our model is called post. So in here, our model is called post and we've got title and content. 
So that's how it's matched up. So now we to told the serializer about our data. So we're building a web API and we want other people to connect this API or our data in the database. Now we don't want people to access our database directly. So we have this web API, which can serve data to anyone who connects to the API. So we need to create a format in which uh, others can access this information. So the serializer basically takes the information from the database and then it puts it into a format to which someone else can utilize. Okay, so now we need to go into the views and create some views. So from here, we need to import a few things. Uh, we need to import the uh, view sets from the REST framework. Obviously, we've just made a file called serializes and we want to incorporate that new class we just made because we're going to need that information. Um, and then we need from the models our new model called posts. So now we need to make a, a new view. So we use this class post view set. We call it post view set. And here we want to make a query. So we query the database. We order it by title and then we serialize it, the information. So what's going to be returned here when we call this is all the data from the database that's then prepared or serialized. So it can then be utilized or other people can then utilize the API data. Okay, so now it's time to set up the URLs. So now I need to set up the URLs. So in the, the main application here, a new API, I'm just going to add include, utilize that, and then create a new line here so I can connect to my new URL file, which I'm just about to make in my API. So I can now do that, a new file called URLs dot py and then in here I now need to add some new URLs so here I need to add in the tools that I need so import uh, include and path and then from the rest framework I need to import routers and then I also need to import my views so here we're using a router or a resource router and this just allows us to quickly declare all of the common routes that we might need for this application instead of having to write them out one by one. And then we just finished our URL patterns to include the path to the router URLs and then the path to the API auth and that includes our REST framework URLs and we give that a namespace of REST framework. So that is everything now in place. So now we have everything in place. I'm just going to run the server again and then go back to my web page. And now the root um, is set to the REST framework. And you can now see that we have this um, basic root view for our default router. So from here, you can see we've got this link here. So we, this is a link to all of our posts. So if we click on that, we now have a problem. Okay, so the problem seemed to be that I didn't migrate the database. So I ran a manage.py migrate. That then allowed me then to migrate the database and now I can access the posts. Of course, we haven't got any posts at the moment. So what we need to do now is go into the admin and create a few new posts. So I'll go ahead and make three new posts. So now if I go back into my API, go to the root of the homepage and then access my posts, you can now see the data is available for potentially others to access. So now we're going to build a simple web app which can access this data and view it on the screen as if we were going to build an application to collect data from our web API and utilize it on our web page. So to collect data and then display it on a web page, uh, first of all, we need to add two resources. First, requests. So you might need to actually pip install that and then the render. So here you can see that I've created a, a new uh, view here called home and response equals 
where the data is going to be from. So if you remember back here in posts, this is where our data can be collected from. So that's the response. And then the data is going to be in JSON format. And we're going to put that into a variable called data. So we're going to collect all that data into this variable. And then we're going to then allow it access to our HTML page. And from there, we'll loop it out on the page. So that's what we're going to return. We're going to return the data that's um, collected from our web API and then make it available on our home.html page. So now we need to just set up the URLs to begin with in our uh, My API app here. Um, and we just need to add a new line so we can access that new data. I've selected home slash and obviously I've connected to the view I've just made called home. OK, so from here, I need to go into my templates folder if you haven't already created one. And then I need to make a new file called home.html. I think that's what I've called it. Just look in the view, so home.html. OK, so just for test purposes to see if we can see the data, you can see here I've just set up a simple loop. Um, we're collecting, we're passing over the data as uh, referencing to, referencing it as data and then we're basically just looping through that and we want to collect from the data the title and the content which obviously matches our model. Now I did notice we had a problem I've just forgotten the, the comma here at the end. So uh, with that in place our server now looks like it's going to work and of course we just need to now navigate to slash home and there we go. So now we've collected data from our API and we've now outputted it on the screen here on our web page. OK, so that was a beginner's guide to setting up a simple Django API and then collecting data and then making it available on a web page.